Welcome. So what I have here is I have the tangent squared of x minus the tangent squared of x times the sine squared of x. Whew. And they want us to simplify this, right? So all right. Um, the best way I always like to look at this, whenever I'm dealing with simplifying, um, you always want to kind of see, you know, first of all, you can always convert everything by using your identities, right? So we could use our Pythagorean identities to rewrite all these uh, sine squares. But a lot of them or not sine squares, but you know, we could use our sine squares plus or minus 1, or our cosine, or our secants, or whatever. Um, but before I even get to that, let's see if we can even simplify this equation further. And let me just kind of go through a point. Let's say, a lot of times when I'm dealing with these trigonometric functions, I like to make it a little bit simpler myself. Let's say I was dealing with something, and it was an expression that looked like this. 3 minus 3 times x. Now. Was there another way to kind of rewrite this? Well, yeah, you could factor out the 3, right? So you'd have 3 times 1 minus x. And the reason why we might say that's a little bit simpler is you're looking at, rather than having two different 3s, I now only have one 3. And why would that be helpful? Well, because let's take a look at the tangent squared. I don't want to have to rewrite using Pythagorean identities for tangent squared twice. So what I can do is if I factor out a tangent squared of x, what I'm going to be left with is a 1 minus the sine squared of x. Now, what we notice about that is the tangent squared of x, I could convert that, but let, let's hold on a second. Let's see, how can I rewrite 1 minus sine squared of x? So then I go back to using my Pythagorean identities, which it says that sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. So therefore, um, if I subtract the sine squared of x on both sides, what I have is the cosine squared of x equals 1 minus the sine squared of x. And there's no classes going on, and we're getting bells. Sorry. So what I can do is I notice that the cosine squared of x is equal to 1 minus sine squared of x. So therefore, I can rewrite this as tangent squared of x times um, cosine squared of x. Now, working a little bit further by using the quotient identity, I can rewrite the tangent squared of x as the sine squared of x divided by the cosine squared of x times the cosine squared of x. And I'm going to put that over 1, just to make sure I remind myself that the cosine squared of x over here is in the numerator. And since I have here in the denominator, those are going to divide to 1, which is just going to leave me with the sine squared of x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is one way to simplify a trigonometric expression. Thanks.